Um, so the event app template is um, very powerful, one of our most commonly used templates. Um, it can be used for internal or external events uh, for clients. Um, you can have small events, large events. It's, it's very easily customizable and there are a lot of uh, features and screens in it. Um, for the purposes of this webinar, we won't go through every single screen. There are a lot of screens that are common across all of the templates. We also won't be showing you specifically how to use Studio or how to even edit components. Um, that's covered in our help center and of course uh, with training uh, with Joe and I. Um, so if you could go to the next slide, Joe. Um, so these are kind of the, the main features or screens in the event app and uh, I will be showing them to you shortly. Um, basically the ones I wanna highlight are the event information, agenda, bookmark, uh, question surveys and polls, attendee and speaker directory, floor plan, and then there are admin options. One of the great things about the event app is um, you can fully um, add and remove things. A, a lot of the times event managers are gonna be obviously at the event and need to make changes last minute. Um, so you can make changes to the agenda or speakers uh, directly through the app, uh, basically just as designating yourself as an admin. Um, but we'll get into all that. Um, let me go ahead and I will actually share my screen and then we can take a look. Okay, so um, your very first screen is an onboarding screen that's pretty standard. Again, we won't go into it. Um, now in this template and uh, as well as all the other templates, there are instructions. Um, so you can actually read through the instructions within the app. Now this obviously will not show to app users. This is just for you in studio. Um, furthermore, there are instructions uh, on certain screens. Um, if you actually look in edit mode, you will see uh, green boxes that kind of tell you details. Um, on the login screen specifically, we have um, a login kind of set up for you. Now the one other thing uh, specific to um, some of the templates uh, with the admin features is uh, on the login component, if you take a look at the actual data source, you'll see that the way to set up an admin is, is very simple. There's literally just an admin column and you put yes next to the person who is an admin. We can see Joe here is listed as an admin. That means she has some extra features. Uh, again, we'll be going through those. Um, so again, the, I won't go through registration or some of the setting screens. Um, the event info is uh, kind of typically the home screen that you use. Um, this is gonna have general information about the event, um, about the venue, um, getting to the event, registration, things like that. Um, if you click on an item here, you'll see more detail. You can, uh, people, users can like, uh, they can bookmark certain things and then just look at the bookmarks and they can also leave comments. So you can just come in here, leave a little comment and that will display. Oh, I'm not logged in. Um, so I will log in as an admin later on to show those features. Next, we have the agenda. Um, this is one of the, the most common things for uh, an event um, is to just list all of the different sessions or different um, parts of the event. You can even list things like lunch. Again, you have uh, a way to customize so each user can basically select um, things that they want to attend and then just look at those agenda items. Now, if you click on an agenda, you have some more details here. Um, we can see that it's bookmarked. There are uh, polls, surveys, questions, and uh, a floor plan link um, for each uh, session. So uh, polls are typically simple questions. Um, in this case, we have just a very basic, basic example here of what is your favorite color? User clicks on that and submits it. You can have multiple questions and um, have you know, kind of more advanced things. Um, let's jump back to the agenda. Surveys, uh, again, are more uh, about how, how did this event go? You know, how is the speaker? Um, these are kind of the sample questions we have. And then lastly, uh, the questions is just a way to ask questions specific to that session. Uh, there's kind of a more 
a general event feedback screen. All of these are specific to the session itself. Um, and then again, you can have more details here. We can see the location, time, and date, um, some content here, uh, images, descriptions, all of that can be displayed. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna jump over these because we've kind of seen the samples <clears throat> there for surveys, questions, and polls. And we'll go to attendees and speakers. Now, the way we have this set up is um, everything is in one data source in Fliplet. Um, you just specify the type of the user. They could be speaker, they could be attendee, they could be both. Uh, but this list at the top will kind of highlight the speakers um, in this horizontal row. We can click on them and you know, get their contact information, get their bio, um, sectors, expertise, just kind of more details there. And similar with attendees, um, there's a little bit more features here. Obviously the attendees list is usually quite long. Um, so you can search for attendees. Again, you can bookmark and just look at the kind of favorited contacts there. Uh, we also have filters um, and you can modify these filters we have by location or by sector. So if I apply that, I only see um, the person that fits that sector. Okay. Um, and there is a feature for uh, allowing users to edit their own profile. So they can come in here and it will fill all of their information if they're logged in and they'll be able to uh, edit that information. Um, this again is something you can turn on or off. And then uh, again, there are some more screens here that I won't go through. They are kind of general screens that um, are across many templates, but um, one of the more useful ones, uh, again, specific to the event app is uh, having a floor plan. Um, so as you saw in the agenda, each session can link to the floor plan. So you can come in here, they would click on an item in the agenda and have it highlighted. Um, right now we just have this restaurant highlighted. Um, but you would come in here and just upload your image uh, that you're gonna use for your floor plan and you can have multiple floors. Um, and then you will just drop icons on and you can customize these icons. They can be different colors, different. You know, we have a fork and knife here for the, um, the cafe. Um, you can just use simple dots with different colors, but you can point out different meeting rooms or a registration desk, um, different areas that, that maybe um, you need to highlight. And then users can also just search for it as well if they come into the floor plan screen. Um, so if they want to go to room 101, it's highlighted there. Um, now, all of these options are in the menu here. Um, again, we've gone over most of these. Um, I will now jump into the admin section. So I'm just going to very briefly log in. Grab those details. Okay, I seem to be having a login error, no worries. Um, I can still take you through the admin screens. Basically, uh, admins will get a separate menu and they'll have the functionality, as I said, to edit um, a lot of the information. So um, you can edit um, attendees here. You can edit the list, you can edit their names, all of their information, um, the agenda, uh, the event information. Again, all of this is accessible in the live app. So uh, event managers or people who may not be familiar with Fluplet Studio or have access to a computer uh, can easily do it through the app. Um, one of the um, specific things for um, the, the admin is to see um, some of the results of the agenda. So this is kind of a separate menu. We can see the actual results for uh, polls or um, specific session uh, surveys. Um, poll results here, we just have an example. Again, we had the question of what is your favorite color? 
So now we just have it charted out that four people answered blue, one person answered green, etc. And the other thing I wanted to show was the attendee check-in. So this is just a, a list of attendees, the same list that you would edit, uh, but you have the option to check them in. And it's just a simple screen to check them in and check them out. Okay. And that's really all I had for uh, the event app template. Uh, as I mentioned, there are some other screens um, that you can look through. Um, a lot of the screens have instructions uh, listed on them. Um, so it's really easy to understand what you need to do. And um, Joe, did we have any questions? Yeah, thanks for that, Brett. Um, uh, everyone that's on uh, attending the webinar, feel free to use the chat function to ask questions. I think there was a couple of people um, coming in a little bit late that might not have heard the, the introduction where we were just explaining that if you want to ask questions, feel free to use the chat function. You can use it anytime when we're going through the templates or uh, and what we'll do is we'll, we'll answer them now afterwards. So if anyone has any specific questions, feel free to add them in now. Otherwise, I think this is a good time just to run through maybe a couple of questions that we very commonly get just regarding this, this template specifically. And I think, Brett, just considering the, the login problem you have had, mm -hmm. um, I think it would be very timely to just explain maybe what, what will we do to troubleshoot this kind of issue. So if a user um, that you've given this template to or given the event app to comes to you and say they, their password doesn't work, you know, what will we kind of do to help them fix it? Yeah, so um, one of the easiest things, first and foremost, is just forgot your password. Um, you know, we have this set up with a demo email. I'm not able to do that, but a normal user can just click on forgot your password and reset it. Um, now, the other um, issue, uh, there is a registration as well, so they may not have been signed up. Um, you can look in the actual data source here and, um, you know, see the email and password is over here. Now, password is encrypted. Um, so you're not going to be able to see what a user's password actually is. It's just going to look like gibberish like this. Um, so you won't be able to actually reset their password for them. Um, they can just use forgot your password. Exactly. But I also think that this is something that we can use the admin section for, right? Correct. Yeah. So you can, um, again, I can't log in as an admin, um, but in the admin menu, you can edit the um, user information. Let me jump to that other screen actually. So in the um, in the attendee list here, you can set their password. Um, the system will auto generate one for them if you leave this blank, but you can also set it for them. Um, and this is where we can also specify if a user is an admin or and speaker, et cetera. Yeah, great, perfect. So there's lots of different options to kind of help help you basically troubleshoot this template if people are having login issues. Mm -hmm. uh, now, another question that I, I get asked very often just regarding this template is kind of around the agenda and uh, what, what would happen if I wanted to basically personalize each of my attendees agenda saying, you know, let's say I've got five breakout sessions at 2 p.m and I only want to show you your relevant breakout session. How could I do that? Right, so you're talking about basically pre-filtering the list for people um, because they can come in, as I mentioned, and you know, set their own agenda. But again, it may be you, you have a lot of breakout sessions. It's a very complex event and maybe you only want people to see those certain items. Uh, so currently we can do that. Um, it is something you need to contact our customer success team for. Um, basically, we'll just need to add in a little bit of custom code to, to help you with that. Uh, but that is something we are building into the template. We are always improving these templates and um, hopefully uh, early next year, we should have that uh, as part of the template. Um, yeah, great, perfect. And another question, just because we have another minute uh, that I get asked very often is uh, about the, the live polling. And so I find quite often in, in events, uh, whenever there's kind of anything live or, or polling or questions going on, you know, I would like to kind of have this results displayed somehow. Is that possible? Yeah, so this is this is very common. Um, you know, obviously a, a presenter is usually going to have a laptop and be presenting slides. Um, so what we typically recommend is that you just publish the app uh, as a 
as a website, uh, as a web app. Um, and then you can just display this screen. Um, so you can have this, your, this screen specific URL um, as part of their presentation or just at the end um, so they can actually uh, display this on a computer uh, projected you know, up on a screen.